What's up guys, JR Raymond back again here at TurboTech in the training center at Chesterfield, Michigan. Today we're gonna to talk about one of the most underrated, uh, most underappreciated parts of bowling, and that is your pre-shot routine, so stay tuned. time. So one of the most underappreciated things in bowling is the pre-shot routine. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to figure out how to make sure that every shot we take is gonna be the same every time. Obviously, we don't wanna repeat the bad shots, so what our focus is gonna be is we're gonna be trying to think about that time where you just bowled the best you've ever bowled. I guarantee when you bowled that 800 series or 700 or 600 series, whatever was the best day you've bowled, I guarantee you were doing the same thing every time you picked up your ball before you stepped onto the approach. Not just the same thing every time you picked up your ball with, with your routine, but with your mind as well. You were thinking the same shot process, you were thinking all of the same uh, visualization tools, you were doing everything basically the same every single shot you threw. And that's when you're gonna see the most success is when you're able to see those things and think the proper things before you go and make your shot. One of the biggest things we do uh, as bowlers, especially when we need a shot, is we start to lose focus on specifics, okay? So when we know we need a shot, we might accidentally change up our routine because we're so amped up and ready to get up there and make that shot to make the cut or to win the title or whatever it may be, uh, we end up messing up more times than we want to admit because we get ourselves mentally unprepared for that shot. So we're not thinking about the right things. Or uh, a lot of the times, like for me, I bowled 180, 190 and 180, the last three to drop out of the cut of the Indy in the Indian, Indianapolis event, PBA event this past, what, a couple weeks ago or whatever. Um, and I did, I started to get a little bit fast. I was 100 into the cut and ended up falling out just because I got too comfortable. I started to change things. Um, and then by the time that last game came, I knew I probably needed to double in the 10th. And I got up and threw the first one in the 10th, terrible. I mean, it was just, I got way ahead of myself I started thinking too much about results and I didn't continue to think about the process that got me to bowling so well the entire week. I just kind of let it go, let it go out the window and thought it would just handle itself when in fact uh, I just stunk and I needed to take a, take a second, step back and really go through my process the same way I did the entire week. Nothing changes. So my advice to you is the next time you go and practice, think about your routine. Think about how you get ready to bowl that next shot. Whether it be you wipe your shoe off, wipe your hand off, hit the rosin bag, whatever it might be, whatever it is, do it the same way every single time, okay? And when you find that routine that allows you to have success, where you find, say you, uh, you stand up, you wipe your shoe off, you blow on the thumb hole and you go and you strike, that's a pretty good routine. Maybe try to repeat that. So remember that shot in your mind, do that same routine and go. If you start changing things, your shots are gonna change. Cause now just by changing that routine, it will change your mindset without you even knowing. Something makes your mind work different if it's not the same way as before. The, your, your mind is an amazing tool when it comes to this game. And, and the way, and unfortunately, it's actually like 90% of this game. It's probably 90% mental, 10% physical, because you have to have the mentality to be able to repeat the shot. There's a ton of people who throw the ball great, but they don't have the mental game to be able to compete at the highest level or at whatever level they're in, because they either A, don't have the confidence, or they just don't have the focus to to use the drive that they have in the proper way. You know, there's a lot of people with, you know, drive and passion for what they wanna do. They just don't use their mental capacity. They don't use their capability to do the right things to help them be successful. So 
you have to figure out exactly what it is that you need to be thinking every single shot. I can't tell you what to think. You have to figure out what it is that you need to think. And when you figure out what it is you need to think to make those shots and to make the best shot possible, you need to do it like that every single time. It should never ever change throughout the entire course of your bowling career. I hope this helps. I know it's something I'm gonna work on here uh, probably for the next four or five days getting ready for the World Series is just working on my routine. I wanna give a big shout out to Mikey Schlebach for driving up here uh, for his practice session. That was the one thing we really, really worked on was his routine. And I think we hit it the nail on the head for him um, that he was just getting ahead of himself a lot of times and his bad shots were coming from uh, not having a proper uh, pre-shot routine. So if you don't have a pre-shot routine, you probably should create one some way, somehow. Uh, it doesn't have to be elaborate. It just needs to be something. You have to do something the same way every single time. And your mind has to know you're doing the same thing every time. So hope this helps. Go practice this. If it does, let me know in the comments. If it doesn't, you can tell me you hate me. That's fine. I'm okay with it. Just make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you go over to Turbo 2-in-1 Grips page as well. Subscribe to theirs. And until next time, guys, we will see you later.